Hi gang, this is Jake Jacobs. I'm a Presonus fan and an absolute fan of the 1602 uh, Studio Live, so I delve in and try to figure out all the problems uh, that some of the people are having and if I come up with something really cool, I, I'll throw a video together. This is one of them. Start it up from the beginning. Uh, once you've uploaded the new SL Remote app, go in here. I'm going to go to the demo mixers, but yours should show up on the Studio Live mixers online on the left hand side if you've got it configured correctly. Uh, I'm going to push connect. We're going to get in here. New feature. Over on, the, over on your right hand side you'll see settings. Just click on settings. You can see the peak hold, which should be self-explanatory, but the input signal that's coming into the board, it'll actually hold one little bar at the top of the line so that you can kind of see where the top of the, of the input signal, what the highest level of the input signal is coming in. Now, changing the track names. That's, this is awesome. I'm going to call track one Jake. And that's all I'm going to do so that we can get through this video very quickly and painlessly. Now you see channel one is now called Jake. This does not save it to the 1602, nor does it save it internally yet. I have the current app as of March 7th, 2012. All right, now over here to the AUGS mixer. Uh, we got FXA and FXB on your far right hand side. If you want to select which channel this affects, you select that. I'm going to go in here to the edit so that you can see where it is or what we do. Ambience. We'll just put ambience on there, say what's for vocals. And it's easier really to change this if you press kind of the center of the button and then drag up straight up and down. It changes it a lot easier. Anyway, uh, FXA. I'm going to have it on my vocals. Whoops. There we go. I'm going to have it on my vocals, uh, vocal two, vocal three, and vocal four. Uh, and say the acoustic guitar, if that's what that is. FXB, I'm going to go to edit. Now, here's a new function, which is awesome. I'm going to go into mono delay, or any of the delay. Whatever tempo the band is carrying, the sound person can then use the tap tempo and tap it generally on quarters, and you'll see it changing right over here, the time, 575 milliseconds. Now, if I want that on my vocals, and I want it on 2, 3, and 4, also, um, then that affects, this FXB then affects those four channels. Again, whatever you select here, the corresponding channel that it affects is down here. AUGS1, that's call that my monitor. I'm going to have a lot of my vocals in my monitor, some of two, some of three, some of four, and I also do want maybe that much of the acoustic guitar. Same with AUGS2 if you're using them again to send them for monitors. Same with AUGS 3 and AUGS 4. Going down to the graphic EQ, make sure that you that if you want the graphic EQ not flat, if you want to affect the overall signal, uh, just push the GEQ 1 button. You'll see both of them light up. Then you can go in and adjust each one by the normal slider. If you want to draw it, if you're an artist, <laughs> Uh, you can go in there and just finger tap and draw and if you say, wow, that's really, our mix is really out of line here, that's, that's horrible, come back here and go flatten and it'll just flatten it right back out for you. Uh, okay, now going back to the overview, going up here to the masters, this controls all four of those auxes, the main level for all four of those aux channels that we just went under this tab, the aux mix, and then this controls the main. Again, everything on here has the uh, EQ, compression, and gate available. So I'm going to tap out of that, come back into here. Let's say on channel five, if I want to change the EQ, I go up and I tap the EQ and you can see that the channel five is lit up. So then you can go in and change that. Now something else, I noticed somebody that was using it and kept tapping out of this and then going up, uh, say, to the compression. He changed the compression and then he go back up to the gate and I'm like, dude, why are you doing that, man? All you have to do is finger swipe it, left or right, to page through all three of those on the top. That's all you have to do. And then close it out if you want, but all three uh, for there's there's more up at the top for bussing it, it but I won't get into that. 
so there you go. That's a very short, uh, short, succinct video from a non-professional um, video taker for sure. Hope it helped.